going on people? Bringing you back another video from the Hyrule Gamer. Um, we're going to talk about injuries of the Arsenal players today. And I'm um, going to give you a little update on the, where the channel's going and what I want to do with it and how I want it to grow. Um, got to have a, a guest on Saturday. One of my close friends. Uh, he's a Chelsea fan, so we get to we get to uh, stress him out and piss him off and just ask him some general questions about how his team's doing and how Arsenal are doing. Um, it's going to be very exciting. Um, as you can see by my face, I'm quite aghast about this. Uh, he's agreed to come on, so. What I'm doing, I'm literally doing this on the phone at the moment. So on Saturday, I'm going to obviously I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go and get. Um, what am I going to go get? I'm going to go get a phone stand, so I don't need to keep holding it all the time because literally my arm is like oh, <laughs> falling off. But um, I'm on the old Desperados tonight. The big ones, the big boys. Um, I do like a desperado. I think that if you smoke, if you drink a few of these, you're you're smashed. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I'm looking forward to Saturday because I'm gonna have a right good piss up and have a right drink. I'm gonna get my notes sorted out and questions I'm gonna ask him and uh, see where we go with that. But it's gonna be a right laugh. We're gonna have a right joke and um, hopefully um, the video uh, you like it as well. So for jokes. So, on the uh, injury news, Reese Nelson is still out, Callum Chambers is out for the rest of the season, peak because he's been actually playing very well, Saka's out, don't know how long he's out for, but he's still out, but we've got the water, uh, winter break, but, um, I saw a picture of uh, Torreira on a fucking sun lounger, I mean, what a life, what a life like a footballer's got, I swear, but, like, footballers have got literally the best lives. But they've worked hard for it to where they are and da 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 But as a fan, you don't want to be seeing like your players sitting on a lounge edge, do you know what I mean? Like it's not even summer yet. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Um a little bit on Mikko Arteta. Um and he's literally sorted the defence out. Defence is pretty much sweet. We're not conceding it. 40, 50 shots that go at uh, every game. But now we're gonna, we need to sort out the attack. He's sorted out the back, now we need to sort out the attack. Uh, Bamiyang is, uh, obviously it looks very rusty. You can tell by the shots he's was taken the other day. So I can make that quickly for the other hand. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's sorted out the defence, but the attack's a bit strange, but I think what he needs to do is obviously uh, drop Lacazette. He drops Lacazette and maybe put um, Bamiyang through the middle, Martin Lenny on the left, and Pepe on the right. Um, probably be the best option. I mean, I would even go as far as to say as put Ainsley Mate and Nile just in, in, in that uh, Ozil's role, because it's looking like, I don't know whether he'll be fit for the two weeks' time, but. Uh, Ozil was just not performing. Like when you're not performing, you drop him. If he hasn't scored, he hasn't had a shot at goal for weeks and weeks and weeks. Lacazette's the same. If you're not playing well, drop him. It ain't a problem. It ain't, it ain't hard to drop a player just because it might you might be like a, a good player. But if you're not playing well, drop him. It ain't a, like it ain't, it ain't silly. It ain't hard. Just drop him. Um. But this is where Mikel Arteta is going to start growing as a manager because if he doesn't drop him, the fans are going to be on his back, like, quick time. And we know how reactionary Arsenal fans are, like, they're so reactionary, like, we'll have a good game, oh, we're the best fucking team in the world.